It still feels so weird seeing Rick hold the brand new BP50 in Modern Player 3. Anyway, what up? We're back with a brand new video. And today, like I said in the intro, we're going to be using the brand new gun. One of them, the BP50. If you guys want to see the SMG, the brand new Ram 9, please let me know down below. But yeah, we're just going to be using it. I don't know what attachments are good. We have Interstellar already unlocked on it. I feel like we should just mess around and have some fun. As you guys see here, the small map mosh pit is now finally out. It features four maps of Stash House, Rust, Shipment, and Meat. Pretty much like all those maps, especially Meat. Wait a minute. Let's just jump straight into this. I'm excited for this. All right, this new gun is actually broken. When I was using it on live stream literally the other night, it was so good. I love messing around with this. It's just the gun from Vanguard, and this was one of my favorite guns from Vanguard, and it was a DLC weapon. As we just died from right here. Yeah, this gun's gonna be good. Like I was also saying in the intro, I still have yet to actually use the new SMG. I want to use it. I heard it's actually like even better than the BP50. <laughs> Oh, dude. So if you guys want to see a new video on that, let me know because I would be down to do that for tomorrow's video. Oh, my, they're all right here. They're all right here. So I'm spawn. We did not get the kill. I want to see if like there's a chance I could try streaking up. It's my first game on, though. Literally, first game of the day. Yeah, we're not streaking up. Until I put the black bars on right now and we start trying right now. Nuke streak, baby. Okay, let me try again. Let me try again. Dude, oh my. Let me try again. One more time. Dude, all right. Last time. Last time. Here we go. 29 off, 29 off. Literally, all we need to get is 29 more kills in a row. All we need to do. Oh, teammate, you stole it! 28, 27. Behind, behind. Teammates, give me. And dude. Oh. No, we just spawned right here. They're still, yep, they're still responding there too. Right here. Okay, that should have hit. I need to put like another attachment on this to make it good. Like, I feel like I should put it on a different barrel. I still know nothing about like best class setups. So the only like time I have like a good best class setup is when I get it from other YouTubers. That's why I don't like create videos of best class setup. But if it's something that you guys want to see, I might do it for a second channel like series. Killed Rick. We got you, Rick. Got Rick again. Got him. Should have got him. Oh, dude, my. We have no ammo. Wait, how do we have no ammo? We have a gun that does zero damage. We have a gun that does zero damage. We're dead. Oh my god, we got a kill. We got a kill. Hello there. No, no. How did we run out of ammo so fast? Is my aim that that bad? Hey, yeah. Challenge me. Got him. Yeah, you thought you could get away from me. Wait, oh, they're right here. And as I'm not like used to play normal core, I've been like grinding hardcore. As you guys know, I'm pretty much a hardcore player this year. We're dead. Fine. Yep. Got you, Rick. Now, where's the other Rick? I know there's another Rick somewhere. Not nah, Rick, but we'll still kill him. Just kidding. I honestly really love this small map mosh pit because in, back in Vanguard, this was actually like my favorite mosh pit to do was the small maps. Wait, oh, he just spawned right here. Hello, buddy. Got you. Oh, we're dead. We're dead. We're dead. How are we gonna... You know what? Knife him. Yup. Back in Vanguard, my favorite thing to do was actually the small map mosh pit. Oh, dude, we got... We're getting assists. I loved all the maps you can do because let's be honest, in Call of Duty, the best maps are always small maps. Like I can't think of like an actual like big map that was good. You can maybe argue like High Rise is like a big map and that's a good map. Maybe Terminal. But having a small map mosh pit is really nice for the game. Feels like it's gonna speed up the game. Feels like it's gonna be going faster. Okay, so we're kind of cooking. We need a munitions box on. Probably our highest streak of the video so far. So we're on like a, a five. Oh, I'm so dead. How am I going to survive this? We're on a 10. On 11? No way. I hate when I try streaking up because when I start streaking up, my heart starts beating. Got the advanced UAV. No, no. I know there's a guy above me too. Dude, why did I challenge that guy? No! He's using a DM56. Why would I challenge him? It's just stuff like this where I'm just not playing smart. Ah, oh, dude, we are cooking as well. We're starting to. See, his gun is so good that I don't even need to, like, be that good. I can have the gun carry me. Sorry, because we're going to get this guy right here. We're going to get this guy right here. Who wants it? That guy right there. See, as long as we're on top of Russ, we're good. That was actually a good first game out. 44 kills, most kills in the game. We're level 258. We can finally level up, thankfully. A few moments later. I wonder if I can get a cross map on this map. Wait, they spawn right there, right? So we should hit it as long as we go like this. Well, I don't know how to hit a cross map. We're still only about a day or two into the season, and I'm still loving uh, Stash House. Stash House is a great map. Well, actually, a lot of people like hating on the map, saying this map is not a good map. I think for a small map, this map is really clean. It's basically Nuketown, but more intense, and I like the vibes of this map. Because it, it reminds me of, like, if you want a shipment that's not as chaotic as shipment, but a map that plays like shipment in a way. Hello. Wait, is it? 
It's another enemy. What was that spawn? I didn't realize like what was going on. It's two. Wait, I died from the new SMG. I just realized. I want to use that SMG so bad. Double Got those two. Let's go. I also want to thank you guys so much for all the love and support recently on the videos. The videos are still doing really good. And I'm like really excited that I have a lot of content coming out for season two. Because I've been enjoying season two a lot. Like I said, we're only like a day or two in. But I'm still like loving it. Warzone Fortune's Keep has been a ton of fun. Still can't believe in my first game we actually did win. That's like something that just doesn't seem real. Especially for a Finnabob video. <laughs> did you guys hear that? I miss my revolver. Did not sound like Andrew looking at all. No way he didn't see me. Oh my, we're just chilling in here. We're dead, we're dead. Oh, I don't know how we're still alive. We're on a nine. I feel like we should definitely not be on a nine. Oh yeah, we're dead, we're dead, we're dead, we're dead. Oh my, we're on a 10. We're on 11, we're dead. For one kill off the Vance UAV. I know we're not gonna be dropping a nuke, but let me get the Vance UAV, it'd be so sick. The entire enemy team is around us. We got the Vance UAV. We're on a 13, no way. No way we're even like on a decent little streak. I know we're camping hard for this, but still. Oh, we have no ammo! Let's pick up the Ram 9. Oh, this is my first time using the Ram 9. And we just got destroyed. I don't like this Ram 9. We just, we were on a streak and we had no ammo and we died. No way that just happened. The Ram 9 sold me. Wait, there's not a guy in there? Oh, we just got a battle pass token. I think that's actually the unlock token to actually unlock the Ram 9. I can't believe we went on a streak on this map. It just sucks knowing we were so close, yet still so far, I don't even think we were halfway there. Dude, we are going in this game. I'm like kind of like playing it a little bit slow though, so I think that's why. I know season two just came out, but we're already getting leaks for season three. And apparently like the actual like OG Rebirth Island map is supposed to come back for Warzone. I also saw a leak saying that we're going to be getting like the EM1 again from Advanced Warfare into season three of this game, which would be kind of cool. I'd like to see like Advanced Warfare type thing. Huh? Wait, that's it. That's still an enemy. Like, I think if we get some like futuristic CODs and start making this COD like kind of random, I think it's gonna make this COD better. I we I don't like a Call of Duty that's way too realistic or tries to be way too realistic when it should just not be realistic. So I think if we can have like random goofy stuff, like even uh, random operators like the brick skin, I think is a good addition for Call of Duty in general. Okay, we got here. Nope, and we died from that grenade. It was literally tracking me the entire way. I'm just happy I can be playing Call of Duty Love Building Up again. It's really one of my favorite things to do in Call of Duty and pretty much the only reason I really do play. It's obviously for the camos, but just to level up in general. The fact that they like took away leveling up so now you can only level up to level 450. I'm gonna be hitting like level 450 here in like literally like a week or two. And then what am I done? And then I can't do anything for like six weeks. There we go. I'm just trying to get kills with this now. I'm having fun doing this. Is what? Wait, wait. Oh, I thought you saw me spawn. Guys, a shotgun. This guy has a shotgun, of course. 43 kills again. Dude, we're doing good. 